So I'm trying to work this YouTube thing, um, you know, and I have to still shave. <laughs> but um, but I'm, I'm, I'm discovering that it's going to be easier to just kind of talk about stuff and sit for hours sticking away like a mad person. And I mean typing away like a mad person. I'm, a, I'm hugely anti-tick. Let it be known. I am massively, I'm like, tick for me is one of the enemies right now. It's like, it's this, this vile creature feeding on my society. And anyway, to the point, um, I wanted to talk about Reverend Judy and, and the church's response to that. And, you know, I mean, I nearly started a little novella. So I'm going to, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about it here on this channel. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm at the shop with Yasmin because we're getting stuff for the market, for Min's market. We're making 50 rand packs today. If you're interested, they're, um, um, I don't know, honey, but it's got tomato paste and green peppers and chili and that sort of starter pack thing and start a meal thing anyway so i'm going to do that and but i'm also going to go print out some of the things because i've looked at what the the church's response was the anglican church's response and then i've looked at kind of what you know because it's kind of a bit like city of cape town they link you through to something else where there's a lot written about what the church is committing to and what the anglican church has been doing um i, I want i'm going to just make a couple of points about that because the way the church is now pitching their response and the way that this whole thing is framed and phrased now it's like there's this idea that there's a, a, a sense of, of, of troublemaking as opposed to whistleblowing which is, you know I, I mean I think there's a there's a very important distinction there I think what Reverend Judy's doing is looking at a, a much larger or what happened to her in a much larger but is that Papa. in a much larger context um, as, as Palmo is about it. Then I said, Papa, what can also be said now? Do you have to do that? Can you do that? Do you have to do that? Iman. Papa. Anyway, so I, I'm, I'm going to go and have that printed out because, you know, I'm like, I'm in terms of technology, I've got my phone. So I'm going to go have that printed out so I can sort of talk about it while I'm, you know, talking to you. Because um, I think it's quite important what, 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 what is coming from the church here. Because, you know, the New Apostolics has been doing that thing where they're talking about um, looking at, at gender-based violence and approach it and people coming to the church and, and how it's, what's happening in the church. And they've got a whole committee that they've started already um, in March and four people who are not affiliated with the churches. Um, sitting on that and I know that within the Catholic Church obviously there for a while now there's been this okay I'm not going to struggle for a word now about what to call it now <laughs> it's been going for a while and uh, so I just want to look at that and then I want to look at in the context of what the Anglican Church is saying what this whole policy that they're that they're rolling out I want to look in terms of that um, and what that means with regard to Reverend to the Reverend because because some of it is not well a lot of it is not it's not clicking it's not it's not fitting so and i think it's important for us to look at it as a nation and and, and certainly because you know that we we you know this christian national thing that we were raised and uh, we were strongly we're so religious we so so much of of where we come from is rooted in a faith religion thing so, so I, I just want to comment in, in that regard. I want to comment on that and also with the idea that for Reverend Judy, this is the first step. This hunger strike is actually a, a second time that she's tried to initiate action around, around the Anglican Church of Southern Africa's approach to gender-based gender -based violence and, and abuse within the church. And then you know that we sit with this history in Cape Town that there really has been a bit of a pedophile's paradise you know you know a little while ago and all that stuff was happening on that island just off the coast coast here and I, I don't want to just immediately start mentioning names because that thing is so specific and it was so well kind of covered up you know it's not you would imagine that something like that that I, like 
scores of young boys being sodomized on an island just off the coast yeah in uh, colored boys let, let's be specific would 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 by now be like kind of common knowledge within the colored community especially never mind the larger cape town community but these things aren't spoken about and now when we when we hear in the midst of the of gbv of gender-based violence and and kind of saying we're looking at it then and then i think we must look at everything we gotta look at everything because because it's symptomatic of how wrong we applying life here how long how wrong society is getting in so we got to evaluate all those things we got to go back to all those years and years of i mean you know i remember when you got to a certain age then suddenly you were talking with your friends about horrible things that happened to them i mean i don't want to necessarily say this in a in in a, a, a sexual crimes relation but but certainly in terms of violence and you know in a, in, a, in a country where corporal punishment was a norm and that sort of thing it blocks you to within an inch of your life for some people that was a a nightmare that they were living in their homes so and and often in faith-based homes so i think i think it is a time for us to look at ourselves and where we come from and our history and how we got to where we are when we when we starting to say we want to truly address this we want to truly look at this idea of of how i can't even find the words because you want to say negatively impactful how horrible this is for women but the, the stark reality is that that there is a context in which you can look at this and be really, really clear that not much has changed for women in this country about about their emancipation, about just their wholeness. They're not having to stand up and say, I am a woman, therefore, to just be, damn it. So, so I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at that a little later, but as I said, I'm at the shops and Christy wants me to come talk on his Facebook live thing, he's doing Habiba, but, but I do, I do, I, I want to be clear that I want you to, to know that I, I think there's, there's something to say about the church's response to Reverend, uh, um, Reverend June, and I know that she's very, very determinedly just starting a very, very big thing here, so, so I'm going to check you later, I'm going to check you later, okay.